Hi there, and welcome to this lesson on Pure Mathematics 1. And in this lesson, we'll be looking at how you calculate the value of the constant in integration. Now, in the last lesson, we noted that because the differential of a constant is zero, when we differentiate a function, we lose any knowledge of what constant might have been part of that function. So in all of these cases, where you've got 3x squared plus 5x plus any number, when you differentiate them, you get exactly the same answer. Now, the consequence of that is we include c whenever we calculate an integral. So if we had to integrate 6x plus 5, then we get 3x squared plus 5x plus some constant. And we don't know what that constant is. But in this lesson, we'll be looking at how you can calculate what it is. If we consider the curve, y equals 3x squared plus 5x plus c, as c changes in value, what we get are a series of curves that never intersect each other. So if c was equal to 6, you'd get a curve like that. If c was equal to 4, you'd get this curve beneath it. c equals 2, you'd get that. If c was equal to 0, then you get the curve that goes through the origin. And c is the y-intercept. So this would be 6, this would be 4, this would be 2, this would be 0. If c was minus 2, the curve would be down here. If c was minus 4, then it would be down here. Now, if we're integrating y equals 6x plus 5, to find out which one of these curves is the correct answer, all we need to know are the coordinates of any point on the curve. So, for example, there might be a point here point P. And if we know the coordinates of P, then we can work out which of these curves is the correct one. So let's say, for example, that P was equal to 112. If that was the case, then we just substitute 112 into the original equation, just like you'd normally do if you're calculating C for a straight line. So we're putting in Y equals 12 and X equals 1 into the equation. That gives us 12 equals 3 plus 5 plus c, which gives us c is equal to 4. And that means that the correct equation, this one here, is y equals 3x squared plus 5x plus 4. Now that's the idea. Okay, let's have a look at how this works out in practice. Let's say you had to find the equation of y given its derivative below and the knowledge that the curve passes through the point 110. So we've been told dy by dx, what we're going to have to do is integrate both sides of this equation. When we integrate the left-hand side, we just get y. And we integrate the right-hand side using the normal method. Once we've done that, we'll have a c at the end of the integral, and then we'll substitute into point 110 to find c. Okay, I'll let you have a go at doing all of that, so pause the video, have a go, and come back to me again when you're ready. Okay, let's have a look at this. So first of all, as always, if they don't write this in a very convenient form, then you'll need to rewrite it into the form so that each term is some number times by x to some power. And then you can use the normal rules for integration. So integrating the left-hand side just gives us y, and then integrating the 10x to the minus 3, the power goes up by 1, and we divide by the new power. Integrating 3x to the minus 2, the power goes up by 1, and we divide by the new power. When you integrate minus 4, you get minus 4x, and also we get this arbitrary constant that we always need to remember. Uh, tidying that up a little will give us minus 5x to the minus 2, minus 3x to the minus 1, minus 4x plus c. And writing it in the, the neatest way that you can do, that would be minus 5 over x squared, minus 3 over x, minus 4x plus c. So that is the integral. If we substitute, substitute in the point 110, then we'll be able to find the value of c. So we're substituting in x equals 1 and y equals 10. And if we do that, we'll get 10 on the left-hand side is equal to minus 5, minus 3, minus 4, plus c. 
and that gives us c equals 22. So the equation of y is y equals minus 5 over x squared minus 3 over x minus 4x plus 22. Okay, that gets us to the end of this lesson. If you've got the textbook, then turn to page 177 and have a go at exercise 9c. Thank you very much for listening and cheerio.